I, in one respect, say thank you, Dementia. I have gained all these friends. This project has been about trying to convey um, the idea of the Deep Network. You're one of four groups who have taken part in this project. Hello. 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 And in total, there are 22 films. Go ahead. What we hoped for was that we could have a big patchwork of different films by and about Deep and about your group and about yourselves to show the world what differences there are and I guess what similarities there are but also what it feels like to be part of a group like yours. First of all we've got the lockdown that took place after the filming. When was the last time you guys all met properly? March. We had oh, a meeting. It we wasn't March. Oh, February. What was it like making your films? I didn't know what to expect, uh, to be honest. I absolutely enjoyed the making of the films, you know, because we had a chance to be involved with operating the sound and... So if you ever need a sound man, I'm here. <laughs> the way people created the scripts, that was a really lovely process. And then you also said, um, I get angry with Kit because he's doing all sorts that I used to be able to do. It's a way of extracting people's um, inner thoughts. Um, so from that point of view, it's uh, uh, interesting and also um, beneficial. What was it like making the film? To make the film, it, it, it was a good experience, really. but I didn't really envisage how it was going to turn out. Well, I was very impressed by his shorts and his legs. <laughs> <laughs> I've still got them now. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I think that the main thing for me is that people get a chance to see us, you know, as, 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 as people the same as them, really. Because those days of sticking it in the back room have gone. You know, my wife was sort of amazed of, and she said to me, she said, you never could knock a nail in straight anyway, she said, before you were diagnosed. It actually shows what, what dementia is, the ups and downs. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I like the bit going through the tunnel. So some days you, you have this fog or darkness that closes in on you. There's always light at the end of the tunnel. And to me, that's what that kind of sort of said, that we came back out into the light again. It was a message of, you know, get involved, do these sort of things, get involved with groups. And the doctors are saying that, yes, I think it's time that we need to sit down with the likes of your peer support group and get feedback from them and educate ourselves and then pass this message on. There's so much that I want to get out and so much I want people to understand around around the subject of dementia. And um, well, you, if you take the plug out, I just, I just go on and on and on. Oh, Wild Rover, we like Wild Rover, yeah. Can you yeah. sing us a line? I've been a Wild Rover for many a year and I spent all my money on... Look, perhaps we can get our message across. It puts the message out there that dementia can happen to anybody at all. In 20 years' time, when somebody comes along and says, I'm sorry, but you've got dementia, are you going to look back on these films and think, well, they can do it, I can do it. And this is important for you and everybody else. What are you going to do when you're diagnosed? Who are you going to talk to?